how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so as promised, this is the December Roundup vlog. I know it's a bit weird having the December Roundup after the year Roundup. But it's just the way things worked out. Um, it was easier recording order, so... <laughs> As you can see, my set has uh, gone through a little bit of an update. Um, I decided to get rid of the two big cushions, um, mostly because they were kind of dominating the set a little bit. Um, Still clearly need to make a few adjustments to make sure things aren't falling off, apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, just to sort of clean up the lines a little bit, um, especially because I'm having the camera a little bit closer uh, for sound reasons. I'm still not sure how well this mic does for picking up sound. I may actually need to pick up an actual mic to help things out a little bit. Um, but yeah, as you, as you can see, I've tied up the set a little bit, um, and added some stuff. <laughs> some stuff from the cute friend. Um, so yeah, since this December roundup is mostly going to be, I had a visitor for Christmas, I might as well start there. So, um, cute friend came down on the 23rd. Um arrived in the evening on the 23rd so we had our first evening together then and I believe we did like oven pizza and ciabatta or something along those lines which is very nice and then we did an escape room on the 24th which was really fun um the escape room itself was 80s themed because the NAF <laughs> Like, that, that was literally the only logic behind our reasoning for booking that one was, uh, FNAF is connected to the 80s, let's do the 80s one. Um, the escape room was fun. Um, I mean, I like we, we did pretty well. We managed to escape all right. Um, and it was the first escape room that I've done where I felt like I was waiting to be given the clues. Um, usually I don't feel like, you know, Usually I don't feel like I have to wait for like a clue to know what I'm doing next. Um, it was not as intuitive as it could have been, but you know what, we both had fun. It was, um, it was a really fun event um, and we sort of like watched a movie in the evening. I think we did, we did takeaway in the evening as well. I think we did takeaway in the we, we had a couple of takeaways last week whilst they were down. Um, so that was quite, quite a nice day and then Christmas day we cooked Christmas. Uh, lunch together which was really nice it was a nice really nice relaxing day um then on the 26th uh we went out and they met my dad and stepmom um and my grandma um and that was a nice sort of pleasant day uh then the 27th i was working um and then the 28th which is was yesterday to this uh we went to my mom's and that was really fun um a very nice relaxed uh fun sort of day so yeah all in all, very, very successful trip. Um, so I dropped them off at the bus station at 10 o'clock this morning. And then I came back and because I've been doing not like loads of traveling around, but enough that it's thrown me off my rhythm, um, I ended up with a little, little bit of a vertigo bout. So I, I got back after dropping them off and I was like, I don't feel right. And I'm still feeling a little bit off now. But I'm not letting that like cloud my opinion of how the last few days have gone, or at least I'm trying not to let that cloud my opinion of how the last few days have gone. <laughs> it's been really nice. It's been like a really, really positive experience. I'm just feeling really crappy now for some reason. Um, as I said, like, I think um, the traveling, especially like to Paynton and back, which is what we did yesterday, um, has just triggered off my vertigo a little bit, not helped by watching... Uh, some FNAF security breach this morning, which is in first person, which tends to uh, trigger my vertigo off a little bit as well. So I'm just feeling a little bit out of sorts now. 
Um, but as I said, I'm trying not to let that cloud how the last few days have been because I know the last few days have been like really happy and positive and, and everything else. I'm just feeling a bit weird and crappy now, which isn't fun. <laughs> Maybe I'm coming down with something. Who knows? Um, we've also been like really safe. Uh, so we've both been doing actual flow tests every single day just in case um, because obviously they live in Wales I live here obviously I worked one of those days um, and you never know you know like anything can kind of happen and um, I'm not like 100% sure what the um, incubation period is for COVID either so I'm like yeah it could be like the incubation period is like 48 hours or 24 hours which would be relatively short but like your standard incubation period for say something like a cold is usually like three or four days uh before you start getting any symptoms um or yeah so it's, it's just been a case of like better safe than sorry we're you know we are in a world pandemic situation so we need to be smart about these kinds of things so we've been like really smart about it and i said we've been doing natural flow tests every day um it's been like as i said nice relaxing enjoyable fun few days uh we found plenty to talk and chat about um we've watched a couple of really good movies um yeah it's been really nice it's been a really nice experience but i'm now like ugh, migraine and dizzy and <laughs> this this is not fun um but i was like i'd rather like record it we're recording this vlog now today um before the headache and nausea and everything else clouds my opinion of the last few days <laughs> and then i can just go and just like flop and hopefully get over whatever this is before going back to work on friday because i've got tomorrow off as well um i mean the biggest sort of disappointment for this month has been that my old brother and his missus were unable to sort of come down for christmas like they were originally planning um and if they'd come down i would have seen them yesterday at my mum's and then tomorrow at my dad's which is why having this three-day block off was so perfect um unfortunately things have worked out the way that things have worked out um Likewise, my brother was unable to come down from Boxing Day, like he originally planned, so I didn't get to see him at my dad's, like was originally supposed to happen, but he was there at my mum's yesterday. Um, so that was a really nice, really nice, really sort of fun experience. Um, and so I think everything's gone really well. I feel like it's been really positive. It's been really relaxed. Um, and then I just like, almost as soon as I'd made it home from dropping them off, I started feeling really headachey and dizzy and not quite right so i'm like great i'm either coming down with something or this is um a little bit of vertigo being triggered either way i'll probably be fired in a couple of days but i didn't want this to kind of be how i remembered that so i was like what i'll do is i will get this filmed you know now um get everything sort of good and positive and remember that it has been a good positive experience before them the uh, kind of drapes over everything but saying that i'm gonna make this one short and sort of end it now because i said i'm not feeling 100 percent for whatever reason um so i don't really want to be sort of sat going on and on and on and on, and on because i just uh, as I said, for whatever reason, as I said, it feels like my vertigo has been triggered or I've got a migraine sitting in or something, um, which is kind of throwing me off. And like I said, because I didn't want this to cloud that, um, I would rather sort of film this whilst I can still be really positive and upbeat about it rather than tomorrow when I'll be looking back going, yeah, but I felt awful afterwards. Uh <laughs> Um, because like that, it can like not like cloud your experience but because it's kind of like the last thing you associate with something it can like change your experience a little bit so it's like no it's been a positive experience i know it's been a positive experience so i'm going to make the video before the whatever this is ruins everything and likewise if i am maybe getting the start of one of these super colds that have been going around and this is just like the first symptoms of a super cold because i have been making their rounds a little bit in work so it is possible that i might 
be experiencing the symptoms or the first symptoms of a super cold. I would rather do it now so that like the video is done and it's all good and we're good. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, this was my monthly roundup for December. Um, I've already filmed the next one because I did it last week. Um, I hope you found this one interesting. I hope you're looking forward to finding out what I spoke about last week for next week. <laughs> and I will see you. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others. And if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.